this is considered a pretty big room. Today on Kevin Gong, we're going to be comparing three drastically different Waterloo dorms at three drastically different price points to find out which one is the most worth it at its price. For some context, I moved into my Village One room on September 2nd. A few days after that, I visited one of my friend's dorms at one of the other residences, UWP, and became consumed with jealousy and rage. Why, you ask? Let's find out. In this video, we're gonna visit three different room types. Three Village One single rooms, one Village One double room, one UWP double room. At the end, I will reveal which rooms are most expensive and which ones are least expensive, if you haven't already guessed already. Before we get into that, if you like the content, drop a like, hit subscribe. When you YouTube my name, there's this one boat guy who pops up above me, and my goal is to destroy him. Help me show him who's better. The first room is my V1 single room. It's pretty much just a box with some storage and bathroom towels and a window. Uh, I also have a cork board which I haven't really done shit with so it's super fucking ugly. And then there is this stain in the floor that I can't get out and also a stain in the wall that I can't get out. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Next we move on to the second V1 single room. Hello? Kimmy? What the fuck? His room is pretty much the same as mine, but it's much better decorated. He has a lot of anime posters and music posters on the wall, as well as a PC setup with a custom keyboard that costs more than my soul. He also has a shit ton of shoes. Like, why does this guy need that many shoes? How many feet does he have? I also decided to ask him if there was anything shitty about his room. Since my room is connected to the outside, so which means that this closet is gonna be very cold. Therefore, I leave my drinks here. As you can see, this is my fire alarm. It's broken. It does not work. The walls don't exist. They're paper thin. If someone is showering right there and I'm sleeping, I'll feel like I'm showering with them. Moving on, we go to our third single room. Can I come in? Oh yeah, yeah. give me one minute. I just want to get off your back. Is that the bathroom? Now, I don't know what it is, but there's something nice about this room. I don't know if it's how neat and tidy it is, or how attractive the man behind the blurred face is, or the fact that it just feels more holy. I just found this in the hallway over there. Chinese English Bible. Now, I'm not Chinese, I'm Korean. <laughs> Next, we level up and we go to the V1 double room. Thomason, can I come in? Okay. Right, thanks. That's that's the, <laughs> that's the room. So this is a two-person bedroom, so it makes sense that it's bigger. The designs, the rooms themselves, are actually meant to be lounges. So on the first floor, we have a room similar to this. They get a lot more space, a lot more shelving, and they also have a storage room in the back. And now we go to the main attraction. The reason why I don't trust anyone that comes from UWP. Yo, what's up? Welcome. Now, the reason why this room makes me angry is because of how apartment-like it is. When you first enter the room, there's a main living room area with a table in the middle. They have a kitchen corner where they have a fridge, a microwave, a stove, an oven, cupboards, storage underneath as well, a sink, a toaster oven. Like, I could keep listing shit. They also have a room just for storage that I feel like I could sleep in better than my room right now. They have their own f***ing toilet. If I could brag about anything, it would be having my own toilet. Oh, and there's also a snack cupboard beside the toilet, but who the f*** cares, they have their own private toilet. Next, Jerome brought me into the bedroom, and once I stepped in, I realized that his bedroom alone is the size of my V1 single room. Maybe even bigger now that I'm looking around. This is considered a pretty big room on campus. After giving me a quick tour, we talked about the rooms themselves and how getting this UWP double room was pretty much a lottery win. Jerome told me about how this room isn't listed on the site. There are only 5 to 10 rooms in the entire building that are meant for two people that are this big. But fuck all that shit. You came here for one reason. Answer to the question that I was about to ask all of them. How much did it cost? Uh, 4019 It costs around $4,000. It costs... 
$3,605. So it's around $4,400. There you have it. Since the beginning, I made it seem like I was getting scammed, which, you know, I still am. But in reality, I scammed you. This isn't a uh, cheap versus expensive. The difference isn't that big. I guess that's that's probably part of why I'm so sad. Can you believe that the difference between their apartment housing and our little box is $400 only? They have their own bathroom. They have a kitchen with a shit ton of appliances. You know, okay, forget it. Forget it. I don't care. I don't even care. Moral of the story is, is there a moral to the story? I was going to say some like motivational shit, but I think at the end of the day, it's just get lucky as fuck.